Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapless channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make free lenses for your Snapchat account, which will become official if you decide to publish them. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I hope you guys are doing well in the social media community, whether that be Snapchat, Instagram or Twitter. Today's video is specialising in the Snapchat environment and how to make your own lens that you can share with friends, family and whoever uses Snapchat. Now my name is Carl Lightning and I help you guys out in the Snapchat community and the Instagram community to try and make the most out of your applications. Now today's focus is about creating a lens. If you're interested in creating a filter, this can be done as well. The difference between a lens and a filter, they are different in terms of Snapchat terms. Lenses tend to be before you take the photo or video so when you tap on the camera you get the carousel these are what we call lenses once you've taken a photograph you can swipe between the different filters and these tend to be more about places locations or adverts that snapchat are providing now filters you can actually make yourself i've done a video on this it is a paid service though so you edit it you upload it you set the requirements and then you pay for what you actually need to use so it's more about location and time depending on how much you have of that is how much you spend. So bigger the place and bigger the duration, obviously is bigger the price. Now today's video is actually free. All you're gonna need is some IT skills and a little bit of creativity. Now I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time, but this program that we use is a little bit out of my depth and it's time and dedication you've got to have for this to make really good lenses. But recently I've got in contact with an official lens creator and he does this as a job making Snapchat lenses for you guys out in the community. And he also offers his services out to companies if of course they want a special lens. Now, what does it take to become a lens creator or just to make your own lens? Now you're going to need a computer for this. This is not something you can do on the mobile devices or the Snapchat app itself. It requires a computer. It doesn't have to be a very powerful one though, but the more power you have, the easier it's obviously gonna be able to run these lenses when you're editing them. You're also gonna need some creative skills because you've got to come up with the ideas to make the lens and you put these two bits together and that's where you can get started and become lens creators. So to get started to become a lens creator, all you need to do is head over to lensstudio.snapchat.com. I will leave the link in the description and download the Lens Studio. And again, it is a free software, but it is a PC software, not something you can do on your mobile. Once the program is downloaded and installed on your machine, you're ready to go to start creating lenses. Now, Snapchat have provided you with loads of templates so you can learn with not having any skills. So I've learned the majority of this, not from just being tutored by an expert, but actually going through the templates and having a play. And Snapchat label the parts of the template, what you should touch and what you shouldn't. So there's loads of little tips in there. A little example of this is the sunglasses template will tell you that if you want to change the color of the sunglasses, you do it in this template here. Move over to that side, change the color, and then voila, look, you've now got a different colored pair of sunglasses. Now preparing for this video, I had to have a go at Lens Studio myself, and there's one lens I've always wanted to create. And obviously I have had the tutoring power of Nicholas who does this full time, and he showed me the ropes on how to make the lens of my dreams. And what I wanted to do, if you know your video editing effects or your photo effects, there is a style that you can leave one color and then take out the rest. So basically desaturate everything else, but leave one color. And that's what I want to do. I want to make some Snapchat lenses that leave one color. And I've done that and I will show you those right now. Now to show the magic of the lens I created, I've got some colored pencils here, which are all multi different colors. And when we use the specific color lens, you'll notice that only that color is on display. So we're going to start off with the purples. It goes into blue, into greens, into yellows, then into the reds. My lenses choose specifically one of those colors and then we'll make every other crayon black and white. Now once you've created a lens, all you've got to do is tap onto your camera like normal. And as you can see, we've got the filters on screen. I will tilt this sideways just so you can sort of get a landscape view. And you can see all the lenses that I've created. If I start off with the blue, you can see that the blue crayons here are the only ones in the shot. Moving over to the red, you'll notice that the red and the sort of pinks end up in the shot, but those are the dominant red colors there and all the rest are sort of black and white. We've also got keep yellow and now the yellow crayons are in shot. And finally, we've done a keep green. Now, if you're interested in using my lenses that I've created, these are live on Snapchat now, accessible for all accounts, Android and iOS. If you scan one of the codes that are currently on screen, that's how you can unlock my lens for 48 hours. And of course, if you want this lens again on the fly and you don't have access to this video, then you of course can use the search feature at the top, type in one of the lenses like keep red and you'll be able to unlock that lens for another 48 hours. So let's move on to actually creating a lens in Lens Studio. So to create your first lens, all you're gonna to need to do is boot up your computer, open Lens Studio, and then you've either got to create from scratch, or it's recommended to try the templates out if you're a beginner or new to the lens creating. 
Now there is a wide range of what you can create. There's 3D lenses, 2D lenses, screen lenses, text lenses, or even AR lenses, which is ones you can walk around. Obviously each sort of lens has a different difficulty level. Yes, you might need some 3D rendering skills if you're trying to make an animated character dance on screen. Obviously you're gonna have to focus and put your own time and ability into this to try and get it to work. But it is a bit of fun. But if you wanna be that top lens creator, you will have to put a lot of time and dedication into a lens. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be fun and maybe this will turn out to be your full-time job if you get good at it. Now the way I created my lens was dead simple. After being shown what to do, all I needed to do was actually amend the colours that the Snapchat camera can see and it looks like this. This is the colour spectrum for Snapchat and if you know your photo editing or your video editing all I had to do was take out the other colours and leave it a bit like this. This one would then leave only the red colours on the camera and when I applied this filter or effect to the camera this is how I created the key red. Now one of the cool parts about the Lens Studio is it allows you to send it out to your Snapchat device for testing. So you don't even have to publish it and wait for Snapchat to enable it. There's a button at the top right, you click onto that, it sends to your Snapchat account and you can test the lens free of charge. Then once you're happy with this, you can enter a title, you can put tags, make a thumbnail and then you can publish it to Snapchat. Once you've published your lens, Snapchat have to review this, but once it's been reviewed by the Snapchat team and they say, yes, that's fine, it will then be on the app forever. I've not heard of any lenses being taken down unless if you break their terms of conditions. So lens creating isn't as easy as one, two, three, but as I've said, if you put that time and effort in, you can create some awesome lenses and maybe one day you become a lens creator. Of course, there's the Snapchat filters which you can create on the app, but those are a time and a place and they do have a small charge, but they're simpler and anyone can make those without a computer. So that's everything I got for today's video on how you make your own lens in the Snapchat world. Me and Nicholas have actually talked about making a little mini series on this YouTube channel about doing step by step for simple lenses. So hopefully if he gets the time to spend we will make some tutorials on how to make simple lenses so then you can copy these and make your own variants. Now of course he's a very busy man so I don't know when this will be but hopefully we'll be able to put those together. If of course you enjoyed today's video then let us know in the comment section below and please support Nicholas's Snapchat. I will leave a few of his lenses on screen with the appropriate scan code if that interests you because I really want to support some of his work as well as some of the stuff that I've made. If of course you're new around here you can subscribe to Snapchat's channel if you enjoyed today's video then leave us a like. Hopefully this is going to help you express your feelings in the lens world for the Snapchat community. If you, of course you've done this before or want to know anything let us know in the comment section below and we'll try and answer to the best of our abilities and we'll catch you in the next video.